Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Go Fishing South Florida. I know guys, I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, you know, a lot going on. But today I'm headed to the bait shop to show you guys a jig head hack that I came up with. I think you're gonna like it, I think you'll appreciate it. It's gonna save you a ton of money. So let's get into this bait shop right quick and see if we can find what we need. Ooh, coming in hot. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go fishing, fishing, fishing. let's go fishing. fishing, yeah! There's some big ones in here. All right, you guys, basically what I'm looking for are jig heads. They, they sell here in bulk. They're like 25 cents a piece, and we need to get like maybe six of them. So let's see if we can find them. guys see they're 25 cents a piece. We're gonna see if we get maybe five of them. Two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I like the little ones. Three, four, five. All right, there we go. Those are the jig heads we're gonna use right here. All right, you guys, we've got our jig heads. Now we're gonna take them home and I'm gonna show you guys what to do next. All right, you guys, we finally made it back home. We got our jig heads right here. Now comes the hack. These are all do-it-yourself jigs. You gotta paint them, do whatever you want to them, but it has to be done by you. They're not painted or anything like that. They're just plain. A lot of people just use them like that, but it's better that you paint them and make them more fancier than they are like this okay so here's the thing you guys can paint them you can use acrylic paint you get these for like 50 60 cents at walmart you can use that paint or you can go with powder coat now i'm going to be using powder coat and this one is a uh, textured powder coat what i did is i added microfine uh, glitter to it in white and that gives it a texture and a little bit more flash while it's in the water so basically all I'm gonna do is take my lighter right here. Now the trick to doing it like this is you want to wait. You're gonna be heating this up really good all the way around and you're gonna feel the hook get hot. Once that hook gets hot, your jig head is ready for paint, okay? So we're just gonna heat it up really good jig head is getting hot I feel it on my fingers already there we go swish this around come in and there it is painted now we're gonna let that cool off a little bit I happen to have one right here waiting for me so I'm gonna put this over here and let that cool off now normally what you're supposed to do with these jig heads is you stick them in the oven at 250 for about 30 minutes to make it really hard, but I'm not gonna do that because, well, these are 25 cent jigs, okay? So now, the thing here we're gonna do next is we're gonna add eyes to it. Now, you guys are going, man, I can just go to Bass Pro and get some eyes. Well, I'm gonna show you guys an easy hack Okay, and that is going to Walmart and buying sequins and all kinds of colors right here, and it only runs you $1.98. All right, that's how we're going to make our eyes. Now, here's the thing we're going to need two sequins. I'm using gold color today, right there. You're going to need some kind of glue, you're going to need uh, crazy glue for one, and then you're gonna need something to cover that eye. You guys can use epoxy, but it's gonna take you a little bit longer to make the eyes because you have to wait for that epoxy to dry. You can go over the entire jig head with 
uh, a nail polish hardener. That'll work also. Or my favorite way of doing this because it makes the, the lure really, the eye of the lure really stand out is to go with uh, the UV glue. I'm using soft. I think that's the best way to go with these because it, it makes the eye really pop out. So first things first. Oh, and you're also gonna need uh, paint, acrylic paint. You guys can use whatever color. I'm using black today because it, it stands out against the gold. But um, and you're also gonna need, let me see, a paintbrush. Okay, a little paintbrush. Or you guys can use a, um, a, a, a Q-tip. Just cut the tip off, one of the ends off, and you're gonna dip it into the paint right here like this. I'm using a bottle cap to hold my paint. I'm gonna have to put a little bit more in there because I already made a couple of lures. But we're gonna add just a little bit. You don't need a lot of paint. Just enough to hold it down. There we go. All right. So we're gonna get that out of the way, get all this stuff out the way. The hard part is the crazy glue because for some reason, crazy glue likes to stick to everything but the thing that wants to get stuck. You know what I mean? So we're gonna add a drop of crazy glue right there. We're gonna take a sequin and we're gonna place it over that crazy glue. Oh Lord, I don't wanna get it all over my finger. So we're just gonna drop it on there. There we go. And we're gonna center it as best we can. Let's see what we got here I can use. Center that as best you can. There you go. And we're gonna let that dry. It doesn't take long to, to let it dry. And uh, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Maybe blowing on it helps. Yeah, okay. We're gonna do the same thing to this side. One drop, there we go. Now the thing I like doing about, oh, the thing I like best about this is that when you buy those stick-on um, eyes, they tend to fall off all the time. And really pain in the, it's a real pain in the neck when they start falling off every which way, especially when you're paying premium price for it. But this way you know this ain't going nowhere. It is crazy glued down and it's gonna be UV glue down in a second, or it can be done with a nail polish remover, uh, nail polish, not remover, but hardener, and or epoxy. You can go over the entire lure with the epoxy and it comes out way better. You'll get the same effect with this, but it won't last as long as using the epoxy. Okay, we're gonna have to let that dry. I think I put too much on that one, but let's see. All right. Now we're gonna take our paintbrush, dip it in that paint, make sure you get enough on there, and we're gonna paint the center. You can make it as big as you want or as small as you want. I'm gonna go with a big eye like that, just like that, okay? Then I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. A little bit more paint. And don't worry about it being perfect circle or anything like that because let's be for real nothing in nature is perfect fish know this people know this you don't have to get all fancy with it now we're gonna let that dry there you go see now we just made eyes on our lure okay now we're gonna let that paint dry just a couple of seconds blowing on it probably helps Now I'm gonna take my UV. I know I shouldn't be doing this right now, but just to show you, we're gonna take our glue, one drop on the center. There you go. Now you wanna work fast with this. Well, I'm not fast enough. There you go, hit it. It's stuck there. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. One drop down the center. Come on. 
There you go. Make sure it covers. Hit it. All right. That should do it. They are dry. Now, when you're using this kind of glue, this uh, fly tying, I guess it's fly tying UV glue, it's going to feel a little sticky, right, once it's dry. That's all the chemicals coming up. All you got to do is get alcohol on a rag, wipe it down, it's done. You don't have to worry about it no more. But there you go. You just made eyes for your lure or for your jig head. Now, you guys, you can do it as many as you like because that little bag has tons of sequins. You could do it in any color and it comes out a lot cheaper than going to buy a bunch of plastic uh, stick on eyes that are just eventually you're just gonna fall off anyway. All right, so there you go. Pretty cool, right? All right, you guys, that does it for this hack. I hope it helps you out, saves you some money and gives you something to do on those rainy days. Um, until next time, have a good one. Keep chasing wild. I'm out of here. Let's go, let's go. Let's go fishing. fishing, fishing. Let's go fishing. Yeah. There's some big ones in here.